producing oil and gas constantly depletes the reserves either a company, a country, or the planet has. And so um, on average, we deplete about 10% of our reserves or resources every year just through natural production and decline. And that has to be replaced. Mm -hmm. Exploration's the kind of ultimate organic way of doing that. There are other ways further down the cycle, buying it, selling it, um, redeveloping things. But ultimately, e everything has to come from new exploration. Largely, there aren't any more new geographies. So the, the, the what next that's new is predominantly going to be in the field of technology. And US tight oil is almost entirely a technological play. It's a, it's a way to get um, oil and gas out of rocks that have been producing for 100 years. Five years ago, almost no one in the industry would have had any idea that US tight oil could be what it's transpired to be. And, and I'm sure there will be another one of these. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see what it is. We are probably near the bottom of the price decline currently. M most of the major price declines of the last 30 years have occurred within six months. The $64 question is how long will it be before let, let, uh, more positive oil prices will, will, will come back into play? The vast majority of oil is used um, in, in, in transport, whether it be cars or ocean-going container vessels or, or, or commercial airliners. I think we will be living with the consequence of this for at least a couple of years, but I don't see it being low prices being sustainable um, for, for much longer than that. And I do believe the fundamentals of global oil and gas supply and demand um, do suggest that in five plus years we'll be in again for a period of, of high oil prices.